So we got the Bicentennial, and uh, the one we got was actually a place where, let's face it, probably a place we probably shouldn't be. Uh, it was a, in North Philadelphia. We're talking 1976, kind of a different period of time as now. Uh, let's put it this way. A lot of those folks were gang-connected, and we didn't have the right bandanas. And listen, to give them the benefit of the doubt, they were expecting, you know, like the soul sound of Philadelphia to be playing there, something like that. It was like on this little rickety bandstand. So they certainly were not expecting an improv theater troupe, that is for sure. So we get out of the bus, and as soon as we get out of the bus, I'm already starting, we're already starting to hear heckling, and, you know, who are these guys? What are they going to do? Uh, you know, people come and say, oh, what are you going to play? We, we're an improv theater company. It, you, you'll love it. So I turn to Joe Burns. Joe Burns is uh, a little bit more street streetwise than the rest of the group. I'm pretty much as streetwise as Joe is and says, OK, we got to get these guys at the very first minute. Let's do uh, audience intro. It's OK, fine. So we get out our hoodies. Hey, look up a uh, Rocky. Google it. Anyway, so we get on our hoodies and we go to the very back of the audience as the show starts. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Second Sight Theater Lab. We're going to entertain you for the next 45 minutes. All we need to start off the show is one thing to get us start off. One word suggestion. Nothing. One word. One word suggestion, please. All we're getting is like, you know, people grumbling and stuff like that. You can hear the grumbling going on in the back. Meanwhile, we were already in the crowd. We got our hoodies on. This is a bit we've done before. But we start doing this other thing a little differently.